So last night I was playing my connected franchise mode in Madden and I was on doing some passing plays and they were going to my tight end and that was Mark Andrews and I'm like man I'm gonna really miss that guy in real life and then this morning we got another reminder that Mark Andrews is out because uh, from Aaron Wilson uh, who used to cover the Ravens a long time ago uh, if y'all remember but Aaron Wilson he said the Ravens are working out tight end Scotty Washington he's six foot five, two hundred forty seven pounds today per a league source and he's previously was with the Steelers. Patriots and Bengals uh, and he went to Wake Forest so he got some AFC experience and some AFC North experience as well but of course uh, they are looking for somebody to sort of fill that third tight end spot uh, whether that's going to be him whether you know, Eric Tomlinson has been a suggestion um, and Volkolek like he's been another suggestion uh, and there are other guys out there so they have another, a lot of other options now one thing to think about when you think about that third tight end spot essentially um it's not going to be somebody that's going to get a ton of playing time. It's not going to be somebody who's going to be out there like that too much. So I, I wouldn't expect too much from whoever they end up signing uh, or whoever they end up putting in that third tight end spot, whether they elevate somebody, if they sign somebody, whoever it is. I wouldn't expect too much from them. But anyway. Something that this also reminded me of was something that that's why I, I love when y'all comment. I love when y'all share your thoughts so much because it's something that about Mark Andrews that the Ravens are going to miss like the most when it comes to him being out. Obviously, we know that Lamar Jackson and Mark Andrews, the chemistry that they have is by far the best chemistry between anybody uh on but with Lamar and anybody with Lamar and any other tight end Lamar and any other receiver Lamar and any other running back Lamar and Lamar has the most chemistry by far with Mark Andrews but something that a couple of people mentioned in the comment section which is such a great point and I'm like oh it made it made missing Mark Andrews hurt even more um the off script stuff that is really really where things are oof man like Ravens are really gonna have to make some big adjustments when it comes to that because as we know Lamar Jackson if some some breaks down with a play and they got to do something off script that's when Mark Andrews and Lamar they were the best at that by far by far uh, Lamar obviously we've seen it over the years he has so much trust uh, for Mark Andrews um, They know each other If a play breaks down Mark Andrews like hold up Okay let me go do this Let me go improvise Those are the plays that I think we're really going to miss the most From Mark Andrews Hopefully And again we got the guys to do it But they, the chemistry going to have to It's going to have to be taken up a notch And with repetition It will be I mean they, they got no choice <laughs> They literally got no choice But them off script plays man Those things they can be a thing of beauty because if you got a certain route that you got to run, it's like, all right, let me go run this route. Da, 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 da. But sometimes stuff ain't going to work. Sometimes stuff ain't going to go so good. Sometimes stuff will break down, fall apart. It'll mess up. So that's when you got to think on your feet. And we know, like, we know Lamar Jackson, he could think on his feet for sure. Um, and, and I know everybody else can too, but just the way that him and Mark Andrews did it, it was just different, man. Like, and, and you think back too. This is why Lamar Jackson and Hollywood, they had such a great connection and great chemistry because it was the same thing. Whenever a play would break down, those were the two that they, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we know what Lamar about to do. Okay, yeah, yeah, we see it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, let me go do this. In the middle of the play, those two were some of the best when it came to the, the combination of Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, or Lamar Jackson, Hollywood Brown, they were the best when it came to those broken plays. And you need somebody like that. You need somebody who's not just going to, all right, let me follow the rules. And if, if I'm done following the rules and the rules are not working, what do I do? You know, you need somebody who's ready to be innovative. You need somebody who's ready to think on the fly. And I'm not saying that the people that are on the team cannot do it, but I'm just saying that that, that, that chemistry... The chemistry that he had with Mark Andrews is, is he doesn't have it like that with the other guys. But again, now the Ravens are forced into a situation where that chemistry has to be built. I've seen some people in the comment section say, oh, well, I guess uh, Lamar Jackson, he's, he's going to have to really pass that ball around now. He's going to have to really get that ball to other guys now besides Mark Andrews. But the thing is, see, the, the, the beautiful part about this season thus far 
Obviously, the injury is not beautiful at all. We hate that. But the beautiful part about this season thus far is that they've been doing that already. He's already been spreading the ball around. He's already been getting the ball to other receivers and, and other playmakers. And, and another thing, too, I saw somebody say, oh, well, it's Lamar Jackson. He really going to have to start using the check down now. <laughs> he has. He has been. And that's another thing that has helped this offense out so much, has helped out Lamar Jackson so much, has been that check down. Whether it's to Justice Hill, whether it's to Gus Edwards, whoever it may be, that check down has taken their game to another level. Because y'all remember before, like Lamar, when it came to check down, <laughs> no. <laughs> you see it, the running back will be right there. <laughs> I ain't throwing him. I'm, I'm looking for something more. And hey, you did, y'all know I'm greedy too. But sometimes you just you, you got to take the little stuff real quick. Um, but now like this, the Ravens offense, they going to have to hit a new level. And I, you know, like, especially receivers, they're like, oh, yeah, I know they said that Mark Andrews went out, of course. But especially receivers, pass catchers, that's their job to catch the ball. They, they want more. They always want more catches, and they always feel like they open. Some of them might be open a lot, too, which is great, especially Zay Flowers. Like, he's, Zay Flowers is statistically open all the time. Um, so I'm sure they'll be willing and, and, and ready uh, to take on even more responsibility. Um, but, yeah, they'll, they'll have to now. But that, that's just something that uh, I, I was thinking about. And just getting the reminders of Mark Andrews still being out, it, it reminded me of that even more. Um, Zay Flowers, he seems like something really, really all the, especially Zay Flowers and Odell Beckham Jr. I think those are the guys to me. The most that are just really ready for the breakdown plays, but again, I mean, we we seen it with Nelson Aguilar too and Rashad Bateman. I know he can do it. Like they they got guys that can do it. Um, but again, it's just a matter of building. It's a matter of building. It's like when you're at work, you uh you you got somebody at your job that one of your coworkers, one of your favorite coworkers. Uh, y'all know each other. Y'all super cool with each other. And you cool with other coworkers too, but. With this coworker, y'all like super cool. Y'all done worked on projects together before plenty of times. And y'all do a great job because y'all know how each other think. Y'all get that. And now you got other coworkers that you don't work with before too, but it's just not the same with this one coworker. But this one coworker, they're going to be on leave for a little while. Maybe they just had a baby or something like that. Who knows? But anyway, they're going to be on leave for a little while. So now it's like, oh, okay. So now I got to work with the other coworkers. I ain't got no problem with them or nothing. I love the other coworkers too. But now I just got to figure out a way to get it done with them. Now, I don't have the same chemistry with them that I do with my favorite coworker. But you know what? No, no, no. We're we going to make this thing happen. We're going to make it work. Especially while, while that favorite coworker is out, we are going to make this thing happen. So that's exactly what the Baltimore Ravens are going to do. That's what they have to do. They have no choice but to make it happen. But again, like we mentioned before, the way that this offseason went, um, the Baltimore Ravens really put themselves in a good position to where next man up, yeah, that, that sucks because when you talk about next man up, that means that somebody went down. Um, but next man up, um, it the quality is a lot better than it had been in previous years. Uh, it, and we talked about this even before Mark Andrews went down too. This offense is not, and it wasn't a Mark Andrews or bust type of thing. So that's another good sign, too. Um, now, somebody mentioned a really, really good point, and it's a sad point, but it's a very valid point, is that whenever a player gets hurt, um, it creates an opportunity for somebody else. And that's very, very true. And we've seen it plenty of times with plenty of players. Look at Lamar Jackson, for example. Lamar Jackson was drafted 2018, uh, was not the starter from jump. Was not expected to be the starter at all that season. Flacco got, and they, they would put him in there a lot. They wanted him on the field, and they put him on there a lot, but he wasn't a starter. Flacco got hurt in that Steelers game. Ravens never looked back, even in that playoff game, which I'm glad that they did not because that just would have been, that would have been just too shaky. No, but they never looked back. Injury to Flacco provided an opportunity for Lamar Jackson. Mark Andrews. Mark, and I mean, we could do this with a million players and more, even just on the Ravens alone. But Mark Andrews, he wasn't the starter. He wasn't supposed to be the starter. Ravens drafted Hayden Hurst in that same draft where they drafted Mark Andrews. Hayden Hurst was a starter. What happened? Hayden Hurst got hurt. Mark Andrews, he never looked back. And he became one of the best tight ends in the game. And he wasn't even supposed to have that opportunity. But he got that opportunity due to the tight end in front of him being hurt. So it's it's a tough business. It's a 
rough business and just opportunities are created in so many different ways uh we're of course going to miss mark andrews because like you, you you're not replacing one of the best tight ends in the game uh, but uh, other guys will step up to just try to fill that void uh, as much as they possibly can.